In this part of the lesson, we'll learn how to use the SELECT CASE statement. Just like the IF statement, SELECT CASE allows you to perform a number of logical tests and then execute different instructions based on the result. SELECT CASE has a few small advantages to IF statements for certain types of logical tests, as you'll see in this part of the lesson. Let's start by opening up the file that I've already downloaded and extracted, and then if we need to, click the Enable Content button. And once again, we've got another version of our basic film review model. So the way this works is we enter some details into the list in column B, click the Add to List button, and the details here are transferred into the table on the right hand side. What we'd like to do is generate a rating for our films based on the score that we give it out of 10. So we'll see different words appear in column G according to the criteria that we set up. So let's start by heading into the Developer tab and then the Visual Basic Editor and look at how we can start adding some, adding some code to do exactly that. Let's start by checking if the score we've assigned to our film is exactly equal to zero. To do that with a SELECT CASE statement, we begin by writing the words SELECT CASE. And then on the same line, we need to reference the value that we're trying to perform our logical tests against. So in this case, we're trying to perform our logical tests against the value in range B4. So let's refer to range B4.value. On the next line, I will indent my code one space, and then I'll begin my first case by writing the word case. When I want to check if the value I'm referencing is exactly equal to something, all I need to do is write in the value. So case zero is exactly the same as saying range B4.value equals zero. On the next line, I can then begin writing out the instructions I want to perform if that is the case. So all I'll do in this example is assign a rating to the value of the cell that is three columns to the right of the one that we currently have selected. So I'm going to refer to active cell dot offset zero comma three dot value. And then if the film has been scored as zero, I think we should call it awful. So there we go, we'll assign the, the rating awful to that cell. We could write multiple instructions if this case is true, but in this example, we'll just do this one single thing. Now, eventually we'll have a number of different cases we want to test for, but just for the time being, I'd like to end my select statement. So I'm gonna write end select, and then we can test that this one works by returning to the Excel workbook, entering some random details into column B, like, oh, let's pick a film that we know will definitely be generated with a, with a rating of zero. Uh, date watched uh, doesn't apply because uh, I would certainly never watch it. And then click the Add to List button and we should find that the rating awful appears in column G. Now let's expand the select case statement to test if the film's score is one, two or three. So if you return to the Visual Basic Editor, we can add another case within our select case block if we were doing this with an if statement, we'd need to write three separate logical tests joined together with an or operator. So where the score is either one or the score is two or the score is three. With a case statement, it's much easier. We can simply write a comma separated list of the values we want to test for. So in this case, literally case one comma two comma three. On the next line, we can then write another instruction is actually going to be very similar to what we've just written here so why waste of the time let's copy and paste and then i guess what's slightly slightly less bad than awful i guess bad bad will do is the rating for scores of one two or three again we can check that this now works by returning to excel and entering some new film details so let's see what can we have this time i guess anything with Ben Affleck in it is objectively bad. Let's have something like Batman v Superman. That was pretty awful. Um, let's see, when did I watch that? Somewhere in December 2018, I think. Let's go 1st of December 2018. And let's give it a rating of, of two. It's definitely better than Twilight. I mean, it's got superheroes in it, so of course it's better than Twilight and anything's better than Twilight. So if it's got a rating of one or two or three, it should be rated as bad. And there we go. If I just ex, uh, sort of expand the column width so we can see that that's been added incorrectly. Writing a comma separated list of values is fairly convenient, but there's actually a much easier way to test for a range of numbers with a case statement. Let's add a couple of extra cases if the score is between four and six, we'll call it average. And then if it's between seven and eight, we'll call it good. So to do that back into the Visual Basic Editor, 
let's add a new case. Rather than writing a comma separated list of four, five, and six, we can say four, two, six. And if that's the case, we can copy and paste this instruction again, and we can call this one average. And then a very similar setup for seven to eight. In fact, let's just copy the pair of lines now. Pointless typing the same thing out over and over again. And then we can say seven to eight, and that can be called good. Again, we should check that our new case works by heading back to Excel. And let's add in some details of some kind of average film. Uh, I'm going to go for Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. So definitely wasn't great, but it wasn't absolutely awful. Uh, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, there we go. Let's say I've watched that on the 1st of the 1st, 2019. And then the rating I'll give a 5. So if I click the Add to List button, this film is indeed rated as average. Now, one other thing you should quickly test for with uh, when you're writing ranges in your case expressions, if I switch back to the VB editor, I've determined what happens if the value is between four and six and between seven and eight. But what happens if it falls between six and seven, whether it's 6.1 or 6.5, for example? Currently, none of our cases handle that. So if I were to switch back to Excel and let's try bumping up the rating of Jurassic World, um, a little bit generous, I think, but 6.5. If I click the Add to List button, the film gets added in, but no rating gets applied. The same would be true if I went for 3.5, for example, or 2.5, I suppose, even as well. So switching back to the VB editor, there's absolutely no harm in having ranges overlapping. So where this one ends at 6, we could begin the next one at 6 as well. Now, fortunately, Excel won't become confused when that's the case. Um, the value that we're testing for can only possibly fall into one of these different categories. So if it is exactly equal to six, it will be the first one that's encountered from top to bottom. So it would definitely be average. But as soon as the value now exceeds six, 6.1 or, or less even, as long as it's more than six, it will automatically fall into the good category. We could do something similar for the average category as well. And probably we should change the way this one works. If we put 1.5 or 2.5, then none of our current cases would handle that. So we should probably do things like this, case zero, and then case zero to three, and then case three to six, just to make sure that we've covered all of the intermediate stages that could possibly be the case. You can also use comparison operators in your case expressions, so greater than and less than symbols, etc. Let's add a new case which tests if the score is greater than 8. To do that, I can begin by writing the word case again, but this time I need the is keyword. If you forget to do this, by the way, the editor will fill in the keyword is for you automatically. In fact, let me leave it out just to prove that that's the case. And then if I enter a greater than symbol followed by eight, when I press enter, you'll see, see that the is keyword is added in automatically. I can then write another expression which will set the value of the cell to great if the score is more than eight. So there we go. As always, we should test that our new case expression works by returning to Excel. And let's add in a new film here. So rather than Jurassic World, let's have Incredibles 2. That's pretty good. And I'll leave the data the same and I'll give it a rating of, let's say, 9. And then when I click the Add to List button, this time Incredibles 2 is added with a rating of great. For this final rating, rather than explicitly testing whether the score was greater than 8, if we assume that the user could only enter a number between 0 and 10 into cell B4, then we could just use the case else expression. So let's return to the VB editor. And rather than saying case is greater than 8, we can say case else. Assuming that the value would fall into any of our previous categories up to a score of 8, Anything that's not up to 8 must be 9 or 10, therefore must be considered to be great. So we can use case else to achieve that rather than an explicit logical test. Just to test that again, back into the Excel workbook and a quick click of the Add to List button will just add the same film in again with the same rating, again is rated as great.
At this point, you can either carry on with the extra practice session at the end of this part of the lesson to get a bit more practice of using the select case statement, or you can move on to the next lesson in this module, which talks to you about using conditional functions.